Hey, what's up, everyone? Sly here with D. D, man. We got the news the other day that Brock Purdy is named one of the team captains. A guy that only played about seven games last year. What do you feel about that, man? Do you feel that it's probably too soon for him? Or let's roll, man. Let's roll. This guy's ready and the team believes in him. I think he's ready. The team believes in him. So I saw a clip earlier of um, when they beat the uh, the Cowboys. And Shanahan's all like, hey, good job, everybody. But I want to also congratulate, like, our quarterback for playing, like, like a, an elite game. And um, so right then and there, I've been saying it since the, the preseason of last year. I was like, dude, he had the best arm. They've been talking about it. Man, this guy's really good in practice. When he was uh, the starter, he was, like, being quick with his passes. He was getting out of scrambles. Like, he was doing plays that I was expecting Trey Lance to do. And so with Brock Purdy, man, like they made the decision this season that, you know what, Brock Purdy's our starter. They did uh, the whole Trey Lance situation, got rid of Jimmy, and they're all in on Brock Purdy. So it's do or die right now. So uh, they got all the confidence in the world in him. So I was surprised that he's one of our go-to captains. The fact that it was the players that voted him. Remember last year, Trey Lance, he was a seventh. So he I, he didn't make the cut for the captain. They're putting Brock Purdy as a captain. They said, we want you as a captain. And to me, that means everything. That these guys, Trent Williams, Jawan Jenj, who named the coined the name Brock Star, all these guys, they believe in him, man. So that that means a lot. I know to him and to the team that this guy, hey man, you're one of the captains. We know you're young. We know you've only played seven games, but we believe in you. We've seen what you do in practice. We've seen what you do in the games. And if he doesn't get hurt in that game, we probably ended up in the Super Bowl. So mm -hmm. the fact that they give him that nod, I mean, I'm confident in myself. I believe exactly what these players believe, that this guy is the guy to lead us to the promised land. And when I heard that, man, I was just stoked. I really was stoked. Because there's a lot of great talent. There's pro bowlers everywhere, man. And some of the pro bowlers didn't even make to the captain. And the fact mm -hmm. they gave it to him, I mean, I know they, they yeah. believe in him, man. Yeah, I think he earned it, man, because that was the last pick. Um, I believe it was the Miami game where uh, Jimmy G got hurt. I think it was that game. Yeah. Um, Brock Purdy won, and then he saw like after the um the game that players are kind of like, oh, like yeah, like sucks that Jimmy G got hurt, but we're rolling with Purdy. Didn't even sound really confident. Remember Richard Sherman on his podcast? He was like saying like, oh yeah, pretty much the like, season's done. You know, mm -hmm. like Brock Purdy's gonna do what he can. Like no one believed in him, and so he earned them going on that winning streak all the way to the NFC Championship. And so no guy like on our team like uh, right now from like last season, Brock Purdy's earned it, man. Like all the way through, like he's been that um, he played that amazing last season. So that this season they're like, this is our guy. Let's do it. Well, one guy actually last year that actually was talking about him that actually said I believe in him was Fred Warner. Yeah. Fred Warner was quoted as saying, "We've seen this guy in practice, and when he was doing that game, we weren't shocked. He was just telling the reporters, I wasn't shocked at all. He's been doing this all through preseason, all through the camp, and." That game, I think, remember last year in the preseason game against, it was the Green Bay Packers, and it was just a preseason game, but he drove the team 80 down the field, 80 yards down the field to win the game, go ahead, touchdown. It was like, I think that, and I remember the guys, Fred Warner, and they were just going crazy on the sideline, like, let's go, baby. And then he proved that in the season. So I think even though it was only one season, he proved a lot. The fact that he's out there, Jimmy gets hurt, and then he goes up and steps it up and doesn't lose a game pretty much other than mm -hmm. that one game that, he played, what, one series, like four plays, yeah. gets hurt. So 7-1 and one is the starter. I just believe in him, man. So um, I'm excited. I'm super excited that these guys, these players believe him. The coaching yeah. staff believes him. And I know a lot of fans, there's some fans out there that are still hesitant. Yeah, but, I'd like, say the, the fan right now, they're, uh, I think a lot of them are now like, hey, this is our guy after the whole Trey Lance. Or, a lot of them were hurt about the whole Trey Lance situation. Yeah. But after that, was like, all right, it's over with. Mm -hmm. um, Brock Purdy's our guy. Yeah, yeah, like, this is our guy. Like, now it's season's going to start. Mm -hmm. Like, it's no time to, like, like, bring up like, all stuff that doesn't even matter at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were talking about how it probably was a bad idea getting rid of Trey Lance and stuff. Mm -hmm. Which maybe it was. But now we're not hearing any of those conversations. And now, who knows if they would have put Brock Purdy as a captain and know that Trey Lance is there, too. Maybe it would have been a conflict of interest. Who I knows? Know. So, but now there's no conflict of interest, man. It's time to go and prove it, and I think he will. I really think he's on a big year, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, so we got. Let's know what you guys think. Brock Purdy, name of team captain. Let's know down below what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you next time. Peace.